Right Hand Rule by kscience.com. This here is a wire. And there's a current flowing through the wire, so we call it a current carrying wire. And the current flows from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. And if current flows through a metal, it's going to now produce a magnetic field. So there's going to be a magnetic field surrounding the wire. So the magnetic field surrounding the current carrying wire is going to be made of concentric circles. These are circles that share the same center. And these magnetic field lines are perpendicular to the wire, with the wire in the center of the circles. If there is no current flowing through the current carrying wire, if you put a magnet next to it, the magnet is going to point towards north, the north pole, which is actually magnetic south. However, if you turn the current on, you'll see the compass now point in the direction of the magnetic field line surrounding the wire. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So what is the direction of the magnetic fields that surround the current carrying wire? We need to use the right hand rule to work this out. So to use the right hand rule, we form a thumbs up sign with our hands, like this, with the thumb outstretched and our fists clenched. The thumb is going to point in the direction in which the current is flowing. So that's going to be from positive to negative. So as you can see here, my thumb is pointing downwards. And in which direction are my fingers pointing, the curved fingers in my fist? Well, these are now pointing in this direction. They're going around the circles in this direction. That's the direction of the magnetic fields. In this example, the current is now flowing in the other direction. It's flowing through the wire in a different direction. So what direction is the magnetic field lines going? Well, we use the right hand rule, so we clench our fists, and this time the thumb is pointing upwards from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. And as you can see here, my fingers are clenched and pointing in this direction. This means that the magnetic field lines are going in this direction, which is the opposite direction to the magnetic field lines in the image next to it. So this would be north, so this would be north, and this would be south. The compass would point in this direction, showing north and south here. The compass would point in this direction, showing north and south here. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. So what you've got here is a wire going into the page. And it's going from positive terminal to negative terminal into the page. So the negative terminal is into the page. So we need to point our thumb into the page. This means that the concentric circles of the magnetic field lines are going to be going in a clockwise direction, as you can see here, in a clockwise direction. And the magnetic field is stronger the closer you are to the wire. This is shown by the magnetic field lines drawn closer together. So this wire is going from positive charge to negative charge out of the paper. So the negative charge is coming towards you. So now we use the right hand rule, which means that our thumb is pointing out of the paper. So as you can see here, my fingers in my fist are pointing in this direction, anti-clockwise. So we draw the magnetic field lines going anti-clockwise in the concentric circles around the wire. And if we were to use compasses, the compass would trace the direction of the magnetic field lines around the wire, always pointing north. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. 
Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.